Uh, I'm John Hartson, I play Larry Stevenson. Okay. I'm Sandy Adana, and I play Cheryl Stevenson. I'm Tori Mansour, I play Dexter Henley. I'm Dan Dobransky, and I play Jerry. reunion at Tillman High High School. Not to dance to the horrible music that will be played, or suffer from the food that will be served, nor partake in the lives and the sharing of the successful career accomplishments. Let's just kill these fuckers! All this talking wasn't part of the plan! You shut up! Dexter Henley's presence tonight will only be to provide and supply a memorable, menacing, beautiful, graphic, and painful experience! Boom! No, it's like, <laughs> I was excited just because it's like, yay, I get to kill people. It's very, but it was like, you know, I, it's a feature film, get to work like, you know, more than two or three days on a project. It's really exciting. Um, I actually, I, I kind of wasn't surprised because at the audition, Keys had told me, you will definitely be hearing from us. <laughs> you know, but I've heard that in the past too, and then you never hear from someone. So you know, so it was kind of like, yeah. But it was, it was, it was great. He called me, left me a voicemail, and then I think he called me like a little while later, and he's like, "This is my keys. This is my second attempt to <laughs> contact you." It's very intense, and I was like, "Okay, this guy's intense." But um, yeah, everything kind of worked out for the best, so. I was thrilled to get the role just because the character I'm playing is someone completely different of who I am as a person. Uh, so to me, that was very exciting uh, to be on set also as a main, as a lead role, and developing a character. You know, as an actor, working is the most exciting part, always. Uh, it felt good. Um, I sort of knew at the audition that uh, I was going to be here because he looked at me and said, you're the only one that knew what you were talking about. <laughs> Basically, I just knew, I just memorized all the words and got them right, in the right order. He was happy with that. Oh, wait. Okay, so at the audition, they were just looking at me with a blank stare, like, hmm. So, no fair, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Starting with you, Jory. Tell me about your character and how you did it. 
Uh, my character uh, his name is Dexter Hensley, and uh, he's basically this guy who uh, got picked on when he was in high school, um, got bullied a lot, and you know he's been <coughs> planning to uh, seek vengeance on those who picked on him, and um, that's kind of the character in a nutshell. How I prepared for the role, um, just a lot of information for the script and also uh, thinking back to when I was in high school, I got picked on quite a bit, so I was kind of able to relate to that a little bit. Um, and that's pretty much it, I think, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Easy breezy. <laughs> I think I already answered that. <laughs> uh, I definitely did because my role, I play a bully. And I just thought about the moments in high school when I was picked on or if I might have, might have been mean to someone, which I hope I really wasn't. But you do. You think about how you feel and how that affects you throughout life because it does stick with you. When you're that young, you're impressionable. And being bullied does stick with you. So I definitely used high school for my character. <laughs> So hello, Sandra and Sean. How are you guys doing today? Good. Hello, good to you? see you. Yeah. Good to see you too. I love the blue dress. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, it is. Seems like all of the colors are Yeah, so I figured I had blue eyes, I might as well okay. make them pop. But I love your earrings. Thank you. Thank you. They're really nice. But I like your shoes. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I, I, my mother always said to compliment a woman on her shoes, and I, I think you have nice shoes. Thank you. I like your hair. Thank you. Oh no, we have to find something to compliment. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, what can we expect from this movie? Actually, what role can you first tell us if you actually play the movie? Um, I played the role of Cindy, who was um, part of a group of friends, Andrew being one of the other characters. We were all friends together. I was a cheerleader. And then I um, left the area, so I hadn't seen a lot of my friends in a long time. And um, I'm a bit of a diva, a little bit uh, outspoken. Um, and it's interesting when you see how some people are exactly the same as from high school and some have changed quite a bit. And Andrew was pretty much the same. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, 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 I play Andrew. I was the, uh, the high school sports jock. And uh, like I said, I go to the class reunion. You know, I get to see all my old friends pal around, my buddies, you know, reminisce on the old times. Uh, Andrew's a kind of a free-spirited guy, very silly. Very outgoing, you know, and uh, kind of a kind of a skirt chaser at, 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 at times. So, and uh, I kind of I kind of dug that about the character. So, yeah, it was, it was a wonderful, beautiful experience working with these these guys, and they all from New York as well. And that's important as well because the story the story takes place in New York. Once once you sometimes people think horror thriller, Connecticut in the woods somewhere, or you know what I mean. But it was more important for me that revenge is something that I, I was focused on. Revenge, it, it ain't no mystery who the killers are, who they trying to, I'm, no. I'm not trying to take you on this mystery, who they trying to kill. It was from the beginning to the end that you knew who they were killing. I was more so focusing on why they were killing, where they were killing, the significance of the classroom, the significance of the hallway, what that meant, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, you know what I mean, uh, and, and, and how they killed. Because personally, it's no way that 20 years, these are grown men. Like, some people might say, get over it, homie. You know what I mean? These are grown men. And it was just like, no. You know what I mean? 20 years of this built-up frustration, this anger. So I'm not going to just stab you any kind of way. I'm going to rip your neck off. And, you know, I know I got real aggressive. You was like, oh. What's that? But to me, it's just more so of an example. And I, no way am I condoning anyone to stab. and You know what I mean? But to me, it's just... It's a more so cry out of this is what I was feeling. You know, this is, this, is what happened. this is what happened to me. You know, this is what happened to me. And I'm going to take that years of dwelling on it and, and, and frustration of where my life didn't go or should have went or has gone on, out on you. And, uh, but, the, you know, the, the most important thing is, 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 I guess, do they get Larry and Cheryl and do they actually get them and Sandy and Andrew uh, you know what I mean? So, but uh, the audience is taking on a journey of, a, of one day. It's not, this is happens from the morning 
of the day of the reunion to the night of their reunion. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, I, I was in character until the end of the movie. Nobody liked me. No, um, yeah, no, I had definitely had to shut off after we done we were done because I was actually exhausted after every day just because for me I was just very tense throughout the whole thing. Uh, there was a moment, you know, because I loved everybody in the cast. Everybody was so friendly. Everybody in the crew, maybe the director. Uh, no. Um, <laughs> uh, but um, there was a moment <laughs> where Keys was like, all right, when you come, don't talk to anybody today. <laughs> and I go, and I'm like, how am I going to do that? And then, like, we're, we're, getting, we're getting food, and they're like, hey, so how's it going, Dan? You, you having fun today? And I'm like, <laughs> I kept that up as long as I could, and then it was just easier to lock myself into a dark room, which I actually did. <laughs> Do you really want me to answer that? No. Um, <laughs> it was it was very, you know, it, it was very inspiring because he was very into the whole production you know he was like always very hands-on you know he never killed anybody which is good because that was my job and and Dory's here we were killing everybody um but yeah no it was it was it was very easy uh, going from scene to scene and it's like when we you know when we started it was like boom boom everything went according to plan and I mean everything was pretty much on schedule the whole time so that's always a nice thing to do when you're an actor to like not have to like oh yeah this is supposed to be three weeks and now we're two months into it you know so that's always an excellent thing um, I had a great experience working with Keys I think he is a perfectionist and he has a vision for what he wants so he wouldn't let you stop until he got what he wanted, which is great. Um, and I was always fed, which I eat a lot, so <laughs> it was perfect. <laughs> so you're doing what you love in terms of I love acting and eating, and just the, and the cast was great. So great times. Uh, it's always nice to work with someone who's passionate about what he's doing, and you could see every time he was there, he wanted to get everybody together, talk about it beforehand. And then when we're shooting, just go. And go and go and keep going. Would ask for another take. Would ask for this. Change that. Do this. No, I didn't like that. Um, but you could tell he was invested in the whole thing from start to finish. So it was good with, to work with someone that felt as passionate about what you were doing. You know, w with him watching on the outside. What is really expected from this film? Uh, I think it runs the gamut of a, a lot of emotions for him. There's, there is a message behind the movie. There's a. Uh, I think they should come away from the movie with a, a sense of purpose in the way they treat other people. That's sort of what, the, for me, that was what the story was about, how, how our lives affect the lives of others around us and just being a good person, trying to be a better person in your life. Um, yeah. Well, there's some scary moments. Yeah, there definitely are some uh, scary moments where you might be... Uh, trying to close your eyes, but you have to still watch it. Um, but the bullying message, I think that's the most important. It's just people should be mindful of what they say to people and how they treat people and just spreading kindness in the world. That is the biggest message that I think should be said. Hi, I'm Sandra Palmieri. Hi, I'm Sean Morales. You're watching me. And you're watching me. On the Class Reunion Film. Dot com.